Sheriff Joe Arpaio's former right-hand man you haven't seen. Until now, David Hendershot has flown under the radar, even though he spent 30 years as a Valley law enforcement titan. But tonight, ABC 15 investigator Dave Biscabang has Hendershot on tape, under oath, and in his own words, talking about a case which could cost you, the taxpayer, millions. You're on administrative leave at the moment. That's correct. correct. Dave Hendershot under oath and unleashed. It was too bad that justice wasn't served. Testifying less than two months before he was forced to resign in the face of allegations he misused public funds and abused his power. Come on, for crying out loud. Somebody cut a deal with the U.S. attorney to take that away. In this video obtained by the ABC 15 investigators, he's being deposed by lawyers for this woman, former Maricopa County School Superintendent Sandra Dowling. Second to none. Hendershot and MCSO spent nearly a year investigating Dowling. The Arizona Attorney General brought the case forward to a grand jury and she was charged with theft and misuse of public funds. 29 felonies. But a judge dismissed many of the charges, ruling evidence that would have cleared her had been withheld from the grand jury. Because of a conflict of interest in the Attorney General's office, federal prosecutors took over the case. I don't believe that they wanted to put forth the work involved in doing a very highly complicated case. The feds dropped all the felony charges. Dowling pled guilty to an unrelated misdemeanor and paid a small fine. Hendershot insists the feds botched the case. The U.S. Attorney's Office was running from this case and tanking it. Michael Manning is Dowling's attorney. They really destroyed her life. What they did to this woman and her family was absolutely unconscionable. Hendershot calls it a fix. So something stinks to high heaven, either here or over at the U.S. Attorney or both, but somebody met with the U.S. Attorney that just tells me that the fix was in. Hendershot says the feds let Dowling off the hook to cover up a mistake by a prosecutor handling the case. How do you get from 29 indictments down to a class two misdemeanor? Could it have anything to do with the fact that the prosecuting U.S. attorney violated basically federal grand jury regulations by going out and speaking directly to a witness? I mean, I've never heard of that in my life. Federal prosecutors won't talk about the Dowling case because of their ongoing investigation of MCSO. But they did release a written statement in response to Hendershot's allegations. They say in part, this dated accusation is wrong on the law and wrong on the facts. There has been absolutely no violation. It would have been wholly appropriate for an assistant U.S. attorney to visit with any member of the Board of Supervisors and discuss with that individual a potential plea agreement. Former U.S. attorney Paul Charlton left office before the feds took over the Dowling case. He says federal prosecutors would only drop felony charges for two reasons. First is that the evidence was not what it appeared to be initially, that it is no longer significant enough. The second is that there's been some kind of law enforcement misconduct which would cause the government to reassess the case. Charlton says Hendershot is trying to distract attention away from his own legal problems. The U.S. attorneys just basically pulled their pants down and, and gave it all up to make it go away. I think there's first no small amount of irony in Mr. Hendershot accusing others of misconduct. Why is this important to Maricopa County taxpayers? Because millions of dollars are on the line. Sandra Dowling was the first of nearly a dozen people targeted by MCSO who are now suing for wrongful prosecution. Not one of those corruption cases resulted in even a single felony conviction. David Hendershot did not respond to our efforts to reach him for this story. I'm investigator Dave Biscobing, ABC 15 News.